Hi all, let's discuss about how to group multiple tasks in SSIS package. How to group multiple tasks in SSIS package. The answer is sequence container. Sequence container is the one which helps us to group the multiple tasks, multiple different kind of tasks in a single group. So what is the advantage of making a group? So first of all, it improves the readability of the package. For example, when you have a hundred tasks in a single package, so looking at the package with hundred tasks, it looks very odd. So if you group a relevant task into a couple of groups, and if you make it as around like a, a 10 to 15 containers or 10 to 15 groups, it improves the readability. Second point. So when you group it all the 10 tasks into a single group, so you can set the properties in one shot rather than setting individually properties to each and every task. Third, so you can set the transaction to the entire group in one shot. Fourth one, let us say if you want to disable at least 10 tasks in out of 100 tasks in a, con in a package, so let's move all those tasks into a container and disable in one shot. After some time, if you want to enable, you can enable one shot. And a fourth point. So you can define a specific variable with the scope of a container. Let us say I want to use a variable in three tasks. Let's move these three tasks into a container and define a variable with the scope of a container rather than creating with the scope of a package. So let me show you practically how to group the task in the SSDT SQL Server data tools. Let's move into the SSDT there. If you see the screen the package screen, I have two containers which are in the collapsed manner and this is also one more advantage. So you can collapse and expand whenever you want. It improves the readability. So how to collapse and expand. So if you see there is an arrow button. So let's click on that arrow. Okay, so it is expanding and it, it, it is showing us around six tasks in a single container. So now I can set the properties on the container level rather than setting the uh, properties at the task level. So let us assume it like I want to disable the uh, container. I can simply right click on the container and disable it. If you see, I just clicked on the disable button. If you see, so each and every task is disabled. So now I saved a time to disable each and every task. And one more thing, I can create a variable with the scope of a container. So rather than going for a variable for each and every task. And so let me uh, enable, let me expand this container, second container. Yeah, it is having three tasks. So these three tasks are going to run parallelly. So I can put a uh, what kind of task in the container. So let us say I want to put uh, execute SQL task, data flow task, send mail task, whatever the task I want, I can put that a task in the container. So there is no uh, limitation to put this kind of task in the container or something. That's it about a, a sequence container. So thank you for watching. Keep watching our videos. Please subscribe for more updates.